But yeah, I just wanted to come here and talk about, um, you know, breaking your own heart. And there's so many ways that you can break your own heart. You know, it's not just from a relationship standpoint. Uh, you know, there's so many ways um, that we break our own hearts and we've all been guilty of it. But I just wanted, I just kind of wanted to throw this out here tonight and um, just have you think for a bit. And I want you to understand something like nothing in your life can can happen continuously without your permission. Uh, and I'm going to say that again. I want you to think about that. Nothing in your life can happen continuously without your permission. And when you think about that, you realize just how much power you have to cut off something, to end something, to not accept something, uh, to not continue something. And I get it. I know we have a lot of things, a lot of weaknesses, a lot of voids that, you know, keep us in places that we shouldn't be in anymore. But you have to understand that truth and that fact. You know, one of the quotes that I've, I've said millions of times is that nobody can break out your permission. And it's the truth. You know, nobody can break your heart twice without your permission. And so I want you to think about that. Like, you're always in control of what you accept. You are always in control of what you accept, right? You always have the the power and sometimes we lose it sometimes we forget about it but we always have the power to say you know what nah i'm not gonna accept that we always have the power and say you know what this is settling i'm not gonna settle anymore you know we always have the power to say you know what this is the wrong investment in my life i'm not gonna invest in this anymore because i know the return isn't positive no matter how much my feelings are telling me that i want this right now I know the fact is that later on, this is not gonna bring anything positive out of my life. And so when you realize that you hold that responsibility, when you hold that power, you start to understand that, yeah, people can try to disrespect you. People can try to treat you like you're less. People can try to give you anything. But at the end of the day, you don't have to accept anything that you don't wanna accept, period. And so when we start to accept things that we shouldn't accept, you know, just to keep us in situations that fill our voids, right? We start to break our own heart. You know, I always say we'll chalk it up one to somebody, right? Maybe they broke our own heart. They broke their our heart this or by doing that. But at the end of the day, when we choose to accept things and allow things continuously, that's on us. Like it's on you now. When somebody showed you who they are, Right? It's on you now. You can keep trying to make them be something that they're not, but it's on you now. Right? Certain habits in your life are destructive to your life. Like, and you know that they're not leading you to your peace. They're not leading you to your betterment. They're not leading you to growth. It's on you. Right? Because you know what it is. Right? We can be ignorant at first. We all have been ignorant at times. Right. And what I mean, not calling you ign uh, ignorant person, but we have ignorance towards a situation, maybe because we never been in that situation. And, uh, I can say we don't have knowledge in it. Maybe that's a little bit lighter, <laughs> but we maybe we don't have knowledge towards that situation. We've never been in that situation. Right. But once we know, once we see, once we understand what it is, it's on us. Right. To keep accepting what it is or to say, you know what, I'm not going to accept it no more. Period. And like I said, this isn't just relationships. These are things we deal with our own lives. This is everything. But so many times we break our own heart. We, because we, we see what we, right? And we ignore, we ignore what it really is. And so um, I just want to challenge everybody watching this. To think about that, to think about that, the, to, to, excuse me, to think about the power that you have in your life, to not accept certain things, to change certain things. You know, if you don't like the way you're feeling in your life, you don't like your energy level, if you don't like, you know, how you, how you look, whatever it may be for you, right? First of all, understand that you're beautiful regardless, but if you want to make changes health-wise, you, you don't like the way you feel. That was me. I didn't like the way I felt. I didn't like the way I looked, to be honest with you. And so I wanted to make a change. 
I wanted to make a change because I was breaking my own heart because I was doing things that I know weren't going to lead me to a place where I wanted to be. So I had to make a change in my health life. Right. I had to. And I think that's what breaking your own heart is, is when you don't take you don't take the responsibility or you ignore that you have the responsibility to make a change in your life. And that can go in any area that that's holistic, holistic, holistic. And we can come up with any excuse we want to come up with. We can say anything we want to come up, whatever. We can try to sugarcoat things. We could, you know, make excuses for people. We can do all of that all day long. But when the situation doesn't change and it's not changing, it's not going to change. And we continue to keep ourselves in the situation. We continue to keep ourselves in those habits. That's on us. That's on you.